Hello everyone, we're Gredgeld Media, and today we're going to talk about the book Dark Life by Cat Falls. Yep. Um, I came about this book in kind of an unusual way. I was shelf shopping at the library, which is not something I usually do, when I came upon this book, and it had such a great cover. It was a jellyfish, and I loved jellyfish, so I picked it up, and I was surprised at how good it was, because usually books I discover like that aren't that good. After reading the book, we found out that there was a movie coming out of it by Disney. And it's going to be so <laughs> cool looking, uh, just visually. Uh, and to, now we're going to review it to help you see why. Now, this book, the basic premise is that it's set sometime in the near future when a bunch of land has sunk into the ocean, leaving very little land for people to live on. Those who do live on land live in these cities called stack cities, which from my understanding basically like just a bunch of skyscrapers but like everywhere because yeah. that's the only land they have so they live in really crowded apartments but not everyone because some people decided to go live in the ocean the subsea pioneers the book is about a 15 year old boy named Ty who's a subsea pioneer so he lives in the ocean yeah he um is trying to find out he's trying to capture actually the leader of this gang called the Sea Blight Gang, who's been raiding the subsea pioneers. So that's the basic premise of the book. It's got a lot of action with a little romance thrown in. And mystery. And oh, yes. definitely mystery. So what did you like about it? Um, I liked a lot of the descriptions that they had because most books aren't about you know people living underwater. So the descriptions of how they lived and how they just survived underwater was really cool. Yeah. Um. I liked the action. It's not a emotionally driven plot. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a lot of sob moments, there's not a lot of character development, but that's okay because that's not really what the genre is made for. So I loved the action and it kept me guessing until the end, which is important because mm -hmm. if I have solved everything, I'm not really interested in reading the rest of the book. So what did you not like about it? Um, Personally, I thought that it was a little complicated. Others might not, but sometimes I had to like go over and read a bunch of paragraphs again to really understand it. So, yeah, it was sort of confusing that way. Yeah. Yeah. I think the thing that lent most to the confusion was it starts off in the middle of the action, so you don't really get a chance um, to cement in your mind the facts of this unfamiliar world so when they mm -hmm. use these terms yeah there right are many the terms like topsiders and subsea pioneers and dark life yeah. citizens I didn't really know what they were talking about until I really got into the book but other than that I mean I didn't really have any problems with it I felt mm -hmm. it was perfectly paced and plotted and not too many descriptions just very well balanced um, and appropriate for the genre and target age group so, if you're about 8 to, well, I'm, I'm 16, so 16, you'll probably enjoy this book. And I encourage you to read it. Yes. 